Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. In the last episode, we confronted... Well, what did we do? Oh, we, we chased uh, Vanderlyn into the forest, and, well, yeah, he got away again. In today's episode, I'm going to try and finish up the stranger mission that we started here. Hey, mister. I heard about you. I heard about you, too. Not really. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over. Uh, yep. You got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you since you come to town. Town? That's what you call this? Yeah, really. What's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement, man. Yeah. He's trying to put me in a poor house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is an interesting fella. <laughs> He's Jeremiah Somerset's paw. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. What? So okay. So he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. Ah. Uh. Our owners like me begging in the street. Oh, my heart bleeds for the three of you. <laughs> I just can't figure out which one I dislike the most. Kill after force. I, I do right by you. You find yourself someone else. Kill him. <laughs> well, now John has an option here. We can either warn Abner or kill him as requested. Um, hold on, where is he on the map? Is he there? Yeah, he's right there. I like I like these little stranger missions because they're right here in town. They don't really go anywhere. Um, I think the right thing to do is to warn him. To kind of tell him that, you know, people are going to kill him. I think that's the right thing to do. But you can kill him and you can get some money, but since, well... How much money do I have? I only have eight hundred dollars. Eh, not too much for me. I can always regain the money other ways. So let's warn a Abner. A sin, a sin, I tell you. Hey there, Abner. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me and recant the evils of the bottle? Huh? No. Wish it, friend. Better move on, Sue. Fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God. Will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Yeah. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly take this. Take care of yourself, Abner. Well, at least we warned him. Now we could tell Phil uh, Phillips that Abner is gone. He gave us a couple of bucks for it too. That was awfully kind of him. He didn't have to do that. I understand we saved his life and all, but eh. oh well. I mean, the fact that I did did a kind a kind deed for today is good enough for me. I mean, honestly, I don't like the idea of doing stuff for money. Eh, it bothers me. I'm just not that kind of person. Hey, mister, I want to talk to you. What is it? I heard you tipped off Abner Forsyth after I told you to kill him. Now he'll be spreading his nonsense all over the territory. I ain't here to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, you can forget about drowning your sorrows anywhere around here. Around here, it's gonna be double the going right for you. Oh, well. Yeah. <sighs> oh, well, we finished the Prohibitionist. That's the second to last one. The only downside to this now, drinks cost, whenever you go drink in a bar, the, they cost double. Oh well, I don't really drink in this game anyways. There's no point to it. There really is no point to it. It doesn't heal you. It doesn't do anything for you. So, really, there's no point to it. Anyways, let's start the next Agent Ross mission. And you will know the truth.
Now what are they doing? What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. How? I should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Spare me the noble savage home, sword tribe. Will you, oh boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. <sighs> yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Back east? Only he takes what? things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. Can't disagree with him. He's a goddamn killer. Uh, I hate to say it, dude, but they're right. But uh. the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> See, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. <laughs> while the rules may you not are the bad guys. Perfect. They're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. Sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. <sighs> In the way like I said, I don't like these figures. Freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, there are contradictions, you piece of crap. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderland to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Yeah, really. Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech you made of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> you <laughs> smug piece of crap. Seriously? <sighs> you just wanted to make yourself look intelligent, which you really aren't. Oh boy, back to the Gatling gun we go. Oh boy. If only we could aim it at them. There's the U.S. Army right there. Alright, let's skip to destination right now. Also, I wanted a little... Before, I don't know if this is gonna... This isn't gonna go up by Christmas, but... I want to say this is Christmas Eve when I'm recording it, so Merry Christmas to everyone. I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have gotten it, though. <laughs> this this episode's not going to go up at... It's going to be well after Christmas when this episode goes up. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position, then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. I guess so. Oh, boy. Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Yeah, I kind of have to, though. I mean, there's really no point. <laughs> now we're just waiting for Mr. Vandalin's guy to come down here. <laughs> just sitting here waiting. 
units on the way. No, I see him. Take them out. Gun them down. Take them all out. One fell swoop of a Gatling gun. This is actually a very powerful Gatling gun, to be precise. A lot better than the one that we've we've always uh, been on. Good lord, this is really good. Good Gatling gun. How many bastards are there? Good lord, there's a lot of guys over here. Jeez. Good lord, man. Controller work with me. Please work with me. Let's just kill all these bastards once and for all. Where are they coming from? They're like crap. I don't know where they're coming from, but I'm getting damn hurt. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I got you. Kill me. You and your freaking fire bottles and whatnot. Kill you, kill you. There shouldn't be very much left. Look, they're running! Move out! Don't let them get away! Try not to. Freaking kill all of these guys before you get a chance to. Bullets aren't going anywhere though. Bumpier off the road. It's gonna be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. At least we're killing them. There. They're all dead. Don't you hold this thing steady, Fordham. I'm trying my best, sir. They're all dead. Oh, well, I guess not. We still got a bunch more. Keep going. Try and kill me now. What is oh, freaking get! Oh, god, gosh, I just set that guy on fire. Oh gosh. Medicine time. Um, where are you at? There you are. All right, just making sure. Just I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to restart this section. Kill the. Oh, that guy just set on fire. Oh damn it! I wasn't paying attention to my health. I was trying to turn around. Restart from the checkpoint. There we go. I want to say something right now. I'm sorry if I died too much in this LP, but this game is hard. I'm not going to lie right now. This isn't like GTA 4. GTA 4 has a little trick. And I know, well, the, pretty much controlling these, uh, controlling these options are a, lot smooth, are a lot smoother in GTA 4 than it is here. Because in GTA 4, when you aim for something, you can m control the control stick upwards and make it aim at his head. And once you shoot the head, they're automatically dead. So, GTA 4 has a little bit better better control of that in that sense. For it. Red Dead Redemption's really hard to control to kill people. So, at a late game, it becomes really, really difficult to do so. Really, is my Gatling gun only hit the side of it? Seriously? Okay, medicine time again. There we go. Okay. Come on. Set you on fire. Mow you down. Mow you down. Now we got more people to worry about. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. I think I might actually get my trophy for 500 killing 500 people on mounted gun, but nah, I don't think I will actually. I mean, as much time as you've been on a mounted gun, I don't think just playing it alone will um, get you that trophy because there's only a couple. There's uh, there's other times when you can actually um, pretty much take it take it out, and I just took that out before it blew up. That would have been bad if it blew up. These guys, come on. Okay, medicine time again before I die. There we go. Oh, holy cow.
Wait, was that? Okay, that was scripted. Okay, that was scripted. Alright, I was making sure because I thought I failed for a mission for a second there. I thought it was scripted. It, may, it looked like it was scripted. Oh boy. <coughs> oh, Agent Ross is hurt. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to us. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. I think we do, too. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the odd. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. <sighs> Your wife. Oh no. That won't be necessary. Don't you Mr. use. Ross, Captain, let's go. 